Hi, I'm Dylan. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of the Aquarius F20 Atmospheric Water Generator from FND. This box is quite easy. All you need to do is really lift it up. Once you lift it up, you'll notice some compartments in the top piece of polystyrene. Gently lift the piece of polystyrene off. You'll then notice the instruction manual set attached to the top of the unit. Lift this off gently. You will then notice that there's uh, some cardboard boxing around the unit. Just remove this gently. Once you've taken out the unit, you will notice that it has a plug connected with some cellar tape. Just remove the cellar tape to get the plug out. And there is the, the South African plug. Remove all the plastic from the unit. At the top of the piece of polystyrene, you will notice a few parts. There are four filters that you need to replace after three to six months or after the unit tells you to replace them. In addition, there is also a base plate. Simply take out the base plate and place it in the slot provided at the bottom of the machine. You will see that it slides in quite easily. This base plate is simply for a glass and captures some excess water in the bottom. You will notice at the back of the unit that there is an air filter. To replace the air filter, simply pull on the space provided and it comes out quite easily. Then simply click it back into place. You will also notice the compartment for the filters at the back. Simply use the levers to pull them out to open up the unit. There you will see all four filters for which you have received replacements. Simply follow the instructions over here to replace the filters. You will notice that there are two caps. One at the back, which is an inlet for external water, and one here on the side, which is to bulk drain water from the unit. In order to remove these caps, there is a little trick that you need to know. In order to remove the cap from the inlet valve, you will need to do a two-step process. You will notice that there is a ridge over there on the inside as well as on the outside. Simply press on the inner ridge with your one thumb and then pull on the drain cap with your other fingers. Just wiggle it out slightly and you will notice that it comes out. In order to fill the unit with external water, Simply place the pipe that you've been given, the smaller one, inside the hole. And then you will notice that it wedges in place, so you cannot pull it out. In order to remove it, you will need to push on this little ridge again and remove the pipe. To replace the cap, simply take the cap and push it into the hole until it clicks into place. The same thing applies to the drainage hole. Simply click on the ridge that you notice at the back there and then wiggle out the plug. Then take the thicker pipe and put it into the hole. You will then be able to drain water from the unit. In order to remove the pipe simply push on the ridge again and pull it out. Simply place the plug back into the hole and push until it clicks into place. Once you've taken your unit out, all that's left to do is to turn it on. Take your plug, put it into a wall socket and connect it to the back of the machine. Once you do, you will see that the on and off switch begins to flicker. Simply push the button to turn it on. You will notice that it immediately starts to produce water from air by sucking in air from the back and releasing it out the top. Let's have a look at the control panel. 
you will notice that the on and off switch is in the middle and right above it is something called PM 2.5 that's an indicator of the quality of the air in the environment the lower the number the better quality the air as you can see the air here in Cape Town is pretty good quality right below you'll notice the temperature and the humidity at the moment it is 24 degrees Celsius in Cape Town with a humidity level of 48 percent if you look further down you'll notice a few buttons over here is the hot button the child lock button the direction button and the cold button the hot button releases hot water the child lock button you need to hold in for three seconds to release the child lock and then you can release hot water the direction button changes the direction of the wind turbine at the top here it also assists with tapping water from an external source you hold that for three seconds as well if you want to do that and then the cold button releases cold water over here at the top you'll notice a few different indicators the UV light comes on when water is being sterilized in the unit this is the heat button it comes on when water is being heated and it also comes on when hot water is being released the fan button flashes when the unit is producing water from air over here are some indicator lights that you cannot see at this point there is an indicator light for the air filter it comes on when the air filter needs to be changed then there's a snowflake button over here it comes on when cold water is being released from the unit oh, just like that it also comes on when water is being cooled inside the unit over here we have this fan speed the fan speed you can change from low to high when it's on high you will see that it is a little louder but that is when it's working optimally and producing as much water from air as possible if you click the speed button you will notice the sound becomes softer but also the speed goes becomes lower over here on the right hand side we have the water level and the filters the water level indicates the level of water inside the tank when it is low it means that there's little water in the tank and when it is high it means it is full the filter light indicates the lifespan of the filters as you can see the filters are still in good condition when this reaches the first bar and becomes red it is an indicator that you need to change the filters if you want to release water it's quite simple you just click on the cold button and it will release cold water sometimes it takes a little while to warm up but as you can see it is releasing cold water just click the cold button again for it to stop to dispense hot water simply hold the child lock button in for three seconds and then push the hot water button you'll notice hot water coming out oh. to stop it simply push the hot water button again This unit gives you the option to fill it with water from the outside. External water that you put into the unit goes through the filtration system and becomes pure to drink. In order to fill the unit with water from the outside, you will need to connect this pipe into the inlet valve and have an external water source that you'd like to place into the unit. In order to fill the unit with an external water source, take the pipe and put it inside the external water source then simply push and hold the wind direction button for three seconds and you will notice that it begins to suck water from the external source immediately the unit will stop extracting water from an external source once it is full if you would like to stop the unit from extracting water before the unit is full you can just press the cold button
If you would like to release water from the unit, it's quite simple. All you need to do is click on this top uh, ridge over here, back ridge, remove the little plug, give it a little wiggle, and it will come out, and you will see immediately that water begins to run out. If you want to ensure that the water runs through the pipe that you've been given, the thicker pipe, you can just pull out the, uh, pull out the cap and then quickly place the pipe inside so that the water runs through the pipe. You can then direct the water flow to a bucket of your choice. Because the hot water and the cold water are kept in separate tanks in the machine, there's a little process you need to follow in order to release the hot water. Hold the child lock button and the wind direction button down together for three seconds to release the hot water. Once you do, hot water will be the hot water will be released from the machine. And that's it, the unboxing of the Aquarius F20 atmospheric water generator from FND. If you have any more questions, you can check out the instruction manual or you can have a look at our Frequently Asked Questions page. If you still struggle with anything, please feel free to email us. Happy water making! Happy water making!